largest continent on our planet, 98% of it covered by ice. Antarctica is the wildest, coldest, driest, windiest, yet most beautiful and indescribable place on Earth. Aires. You know, I hope you get a little bit of time to go around. Best of luck for your journey and hope uh, you have a nice stint and I hope you don't get bad weather. <laughs> Staff, uh, the expedition team. I'd like to uh, wish you a very warm welcome on board here uh, in Ushuaia, on board Australia. We have a fantastic journey ahead of us, a very unique one, all the way to the White Continent. We would like you to uh, feel at home with us here on board Australia. Uh, she was uh, purposely built to uh, sail the Southern Ocean, to sail the polar regions, and you'll see that she has the perfect size and she's very, very comfortable. Uh, for this kind of, of regions. We are really looking forward to, to share with you this, uh, this journey. Um, Antarctica is a very seldomly visited, it's only a few thousands of visitors every year and again and uh, particularly to end this, uh, this year 2018. There in Antarctica there is nothing better. <laughs> most of the dangerous waters in the world because two seas meet here but likely you it's not going to be this time the drake passage drake shake it's going to be the drake is a lake across the drake passage it's a physical barrier it's also a psychological barrier because a lot of people uh, have heard about stories of the drake passage and cape horn and all that so it takes some effort to get to antarctica because it is a very special place. It's what planet Earth was 60 million years ago. 
And tonight we celebrate New Year's Eve, so please get dressed as elegant as possible to welcome the 2019 on board Laustral. Good morning everyone, welcome to 2019, we are celebrating the first day of the year, what a way to celebrate arriving to Antarctica, the white continent. So be ready to board the Zodiacs uh, as we are gonna start our expedition experience with a Zodiac cruise to discover the Antarctic continent. At the queue experiences, we are storytellers and not tour operators. We take people to unique destinations and make a story of a lifetime. Welcome to Neko Harbor. This is the mainland. It's a continental landing, so you're stepping foot on Antarctic itself. I love to see when people set their first foot on the continent and see that happiness that they have in their eyes. It reminds me of why I got into this industry and I love it. For a lot of people, Antarctica is the last destination, the, the, the seventh continent. They have seen a lot of different places and they come to Antarctica because they understand that this is um, the most surprising places on Earth. Another planet, it's such a different environment, you are astonished every time you go. It's a really a magical place, uh, intense uh, sceneries and lots of wildlife. And the fact that uh, there is only uh, Antarctica where you can come so close to the wildlife. For our guests traveling to Antarctica, to this side of the world, food is very important. And to cater to this need of them, we have Michelin star chef Atul Kocha to be on board with us. We are accompanying some very precious people from India, Dubai, New York, you name it. And I'm very honored to be asked to be on this service. My job is to look after their 
dietary requirements and cook some delicious food for them. It comes from my personal experience then when I'm far, far away from my home, all I crave is some simple home-cooked Indian food. So all these Indians, they are miles away, million miles away from their homes. And I knew it that after some time they would start craving for really simple stuff, something they grew up on, their memories, and something they, they are hooked on to. And being an Indian, being born and bred in India, I absolutely knew what they would be looking for. The high point while outside the cruise was expeditions, but uh, inside the cruise, the high point was the food. And he offered variety, he offered range of a kind which is very familiar to us as Indians. And he not only offered the, you know, the range, he offered the range with quality. Good morning everyone, if you look at the port side uh, of the ship through your balcony you may see a humpbacked whale, do not miss it! Humpback whales are particularly interesting for tourism because they interact uh, with each other. Sometimes they even interact with ships. We have seen orca on this voyage. Uh, it is a little bit more rare to encounter them and uh, they have a particular appeal for some people because they are uh, at the top of the predator chain here. It's one of those things of nature which was indescribable. kind of cruise is not really a cruise, it's an expedition. Uh, people when they come for a cruise they, they are used to have uh, perfect timings but, and when you go to Antarctica you, you have to expect uh, surprises and changes. There is no plan B in Antarctica, everything is fantastic. So uh, you just have to find the right place with the right conditions which is wind, ice, a little bit sometimes of uh, sunshine or at least a good visibility.
there are several colonies here, uh, several tens of thousands of the early penguins. You know, you're standing there, there is the wind blowing, there are those penguins around. It was beautiful. Our uh, classic voyages will have chin straps, adelis, and gentoos. And a large part of my job is to ensure that uh, all the passengers will see the three species. We were surrounded by a lot many penguins, almost like 40, 50,000 of them. The way they were walking in one line, the way they were jumping at a time, one by one, and the way the mother was feeding the young kids was fantastic. And all of a sudden, they say we are pulling all the boats together and out comes the bottle of champagne and you know, everybody is kind of toasting with those glasses. This is just fantastic. Yeah. Okay, this is the most amazing experience and I think it's so nice of all of you all to have so many surprises each and every Zodiac cruise. I think we are all very, very lucky. I didn't know until I was here that such a place do exist in our world. I feel privileged to visit Antarctica and have this opportunity to come to the continent year and year again. Yes, yeah, so uh, today we are in uh, Elephant Point on Livingston Island and uh, thanks to Louis uh, Justin, our expedition leader. Yeah convinced me to come here. I didn't know this place and it's absolutely incredible. You have everything here. Uh, three kinds of uh, penguins, the elephant seals, uh, fantastic scenery. So thanks to me. <laughs> no worries. Unbelievable. You see elephant seals everywhere and they're so huge. Each must be five tons. Unbelievable. I saw one scratching itself. I can't believe that it can even get up, you know. Fantastic. At the end of a journey like this, it's always sad to say goodbye. But I am inspired by the fact I know that there is another great one to come.